What if you needed to screw a fastener into a part, but you weren't confident that the material of that part was strong enough that if you threaded that part directly, your screw wouldn't pull out? You know, maybe you're going to have some high load on that screw and you're using like a plastic material or something and you're worried that the, the threads might might strip or pull out because the material is just not very strong if you were to thread that that part or that material directly. How could you produce really strong, reliable screw threads in a part made out of a weaker material like, like plastic or something? What would you do? Well, one answer, maybe the, the best answer, the answer we're going to talk about today anyway, is threaded inserts. So this, this is a 3D printed plastic part and we needed to get this thumb screw installed in this hole. Uh, so we, we could have tapped that hole directly. Uh, by the way, tapping is the process by which threads are created in, in a part, in a hole. So we could have directly tapped the material and yeah, it would have created uh, geometrically correct threads in which you could uh, screw this this thumb screw into um, but if we were to apply any real load you know trying to pull that screw out or push that screw in uh, and there would be load on this particular part those threads would would pretty quickly um, start to degrade or, or wear away especially as we started screwing this thing in and, and back out they would uh, they would degrade pretty quickly so what we did is we put a threaded insert in here and there are several types of threaded inserts. This one is a push in style for plastic parts and you can see the threads in there. And so now when we thread our thumb screw in, it screws in just fine. And you know, it's nice and strong. It's not going to go anywhere because we have these, these wonderful steel threads that we have put into a plastic part. And that, that's the, uh, the big advantage of threaded inserts. Now I mentioned that there are a few different styles. The one that we just showed is for plastic and, and here's another one right here. This is a brass, uh, it's called a, a, what do they call it? Heat stake threaded insert or, or heat installed threaded insert, something like that. Anyway, uh, this can be pushed into a plastic part using heat. Uh, oftentimes you'll have a hole in a plastic part. Let's just say it's this part. Um, and, and you would, you would, you know, kind of lightly, actually that hole works perfectly. You would place it in there, something like that. Now, obviously this, this won't go in any further. And the next thing you do is get like a, a soldering iron and you put the tip of that soldering iron right here on the, the face of that insert. And because this is brass, which conducts heat very well, well, there it goes. Um, it, you would push that insert in the heat would transfer through the insert and to the surrounding plastic the plastic would start to soften and almost melt away and, and then you can just push that insert in um, another style is this one here this is also brass but this is not meant to conduct any heat this is a, a, a press in threaded insert and this would be used in plastic maybe even wood uh, we usually use them in, in plastic um, you can see this little slit right here that kind of allows the whole part to compress a little bit when you push it into the hole. And then when you screw the fastener in, it, it expands those two ears again, pushing them outwards towards the plastic. You can see this rough knurled surface here. Once that gets pushed into the plastic hole surrounding it, it kind of locks the, the insert in place. And then the last style, is this guy right here. This is called a helicoil or a helical insert. And this is the kind that, that I prefer. It works really well. They are a little bit more challenging to install. They require a special tool that engages this little prong down here at the end. Once the uh, helicoil is installed, that prong gets just uh, uh, broken off. It, it, it breaks off pretty easily with the right tool. Uh, and then you're left with just these these nice threads that sit inside of your uh, your part, the hole in your part. Uh, typically, helicoils like this are used with um, aluminum. Aluminum is a fairly soft material, so it you can thread it directly, and ma many people do. Um, but there are applications where you might be worried about the aluminum threads stripping or or getting damaged because of uh, high loads or something. 
And in those cases, it's a great idea to use a helicoil like this. Um, helicoils can also be used in plastic, uh, but uh, aluminum is maybe one of the most common materials that uh, these helicoils are used in. If you've found this content helpful, consider enrolling in our signature program at mypipelineacademy.com. Whether you're an individual interested in beginning a new career as a mechanical designer or a company interested in training your new engineering hires, our signature program helps students develop the practical skills they need to be productive mechanical design engineers. Seating is limited. We hope to see you there soon.